Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Tina Quillen. I'm a chef. I've been cooking for about 50 years. I'm a graduate of Augustus Escoffier Culinary Arts University. So I've got my associate's degree in that. But when it comes to cooking, it don't matter how many degrees you have, it's experience that counts. So I've been doing this a real long time. Um, today we're going to make some fried pies. Real simple, pretty quick. I can teach just about anybody to cook. I'll walk through it step by step. Let's get going. Okay, I got a really small kitchen and no assistant whatsoever. This is all me. So, and one camera. <laughs> and it's an Android phone, so here we go. Um, most of my stuff you'll see when I roll it out, I'll roll it out on the stove because this is the only room I have right there. So we're going to start out by just making some filling. Hold on, I'll set the camera up. Okay, you see I have just a regular can of cherry pie filling. I've got about a cup of blueberries that are fresh right off the bush and I've sprinkled them with about two tablespoons of sugar and let it sit for about an hour. Okay, I've got pre-made uh, pie, uh, pie dough, which you can make your own. I just ain't gonna do it today. I ain't got time. So, we're gonna use this and roll it out the way we want it. I have one eight ounce cream cheese that's been softening for about two hours. A tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna put that right in there. Or excuse me, a teaspoon. A tablespoon of vanilla extract. Three tablespoons of just regular granulated sugar. to do two tablespoons of sour cream. We have just rolls in there like that. Okay. Then we've got about a tablespoon of just regular milk and one egg. Uh, egg's been sitting there for about two hours coming to room temperature. Now we're going to mix all of this up until it's nice and creamy. And I don't want to bore y'all with this so I'll be back when it's all mixed up. Okay, are we back? Yeah, we're back. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's all mixed up. Now you can use a mixer or a whisk or whatever. I usually just do stuff by hand. So that's what that's going to look like. And it, you see it's all kind of really puddin'-y like. So when we make our fried pies, we're just going to mix some of that in with some of our fruit and close it up. Otherwise, you're just going to have a big old swampy mess. So, there's our dough. We're just going to go ahead and open one up. Take it out. And then we're going to put a little bit of flour down on our work surface. Y'all see that? Just like that. Yeah, I think so. And take a little bit of flour and put it down on our work surface just like that you don't want too off a lot because you don't want it dry you just want it not to stick and if it kind of pinches together while you're unrolling it 
and just don't want to work with you, that's okay too. You know, let's do like this. Because we're going to roll it out for ourselves. So, it doesn't matter if it's all tore up and whatever. Because you're going to do it yourself. Or I'm going to do it myself. Goodness. That's really being a bud, isn't it? Learning opportunity. <laughs> so, we're just going to kind of get this undone and start over. We're going to make our own. We'll make our own. If your dough ever does this, don't panic. Because it doesn't matter that you had to add flour. It's not going to make a hill of beans. So, this is what I got. And it looks like a kindergartner was playing in some flour here. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Because we're going to fix it. And this is how. You see, you just kind of want it to get back into a big old dough ball. And then you're going to roll it out yourself. Or I'm going to roll mine out myself. And it's not hard. Ain't nothing hard about it. I mean, if I was in an awful hurry and was using ready-made pie crust, because I didn't have time, that would have been really aggravating. But still, wouldn't be no big deal. Because I could just roll it on out all on my little woodsies. there just like that. paper thin, but not real big. Probably should have put some more flour on the stove. There we go. We want something round to cut it with. Oh heavens. 
I always forget something and that's it. Be right back. Okay, couldn't find my cutter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 32 ounce cup here, make a 32 ounce circle cutting, whatever. And I am going to lay it flat on here. And I'm just gonna cut out some little circles. that is just like that yep. okay and I'm gonna cut out as many as this will give me and I will be back to show you the next step after that Okay, that made about six. Well, not about. It made six comfortably. So, I just took the rest of that first pack, and I am just kind of squishing it back together. And then I'm going to roll out this dough again, because we don't waste around here. Stuff has gotten so expensive, ain't no way I'd waste this. real quick so that way you don't have to waste what's left over I'll be right back <clears throat> it's so hot in here today oh my gosh okay just gonna show you real quick y'all know what this is it's a dough cutter let me show you how to clean up flour just like really really fast watch this I love my dough cutter I used to hate to bake because I hated the flour mess. It used to get all over the place and I could never get it clean. I'd be brushing and wiping <laughs> until I discovered that my dough cutter does that. <laughs> if you don't have a dough cutter and you bake, Get a dough cutter. Okay, now we're back. I have one egg that I scrambled up right there. And we have our little pie rounds, our little pie crust. Now, now, we're going to take a little bit of our cream cheese mixture. Should be enough. And we're going to add in some of our blueberries. Alright, get in there. And that should be about 20. Okay. Alrighty, now we're gonna mix it up. Boy, that looks good. Just like that. I wish I had a bigger work area. Oh, I can wish all I want to. It ain't a gonna happen. Okay. Now we're gonna 
going to take one of our little pie rounds right here. Y'all see that? Yeah, okay. And let me get my brush. Okay. Now, we're just going to put a little bit of egg right around the edges. So when we want to close it, going to help it to seal. Oh, and by the way, uh, two of the pie shells, the already made pie shells, produce two dozen of the little pie rounds, the shells. And does everybody know what a dozen is? A dozen is 12. So we got 24. A baker's dozen is 13. Just a little information there. I don't know why I told you that, but <laughs> Baker's Dozen is 13. Now you don't want to overstuff these because they will bust open. So we want to make sure Everything is in there. I think we got one too many berries in there. Just throw that back in there. And we're going to seal it up. We're going to do it. There it is. Get you a little fork. And you just seal the ends. Just like that. pretty that is. Just like that. So, put that on the tray. I want to do one more. I'm going to show y'all one more. One more time. And then I'm going to finish up the blueberry. And I'll come back and show you how to do the cherry. Which it ain't no different. It's just the cherry has some uh, syrup in there with it so you kind of got to strain the syrup out and put in that many there we go oh that's going to be so good and that's all there is to it y'all until we fry them another okay so I'll come back and show you how to do cherry okay now we're gonna do the cherries just like we did the blueberries but you see all that cherry syrup or gel or whatever you just don't need to kind of leave as much in that can <laughs> as you can You don't want a big, mushy pie like that because it will definitely leak out. And you don't want that to happen in your oil. It'll make a big old popping hot, slinging grease mess. <laughs> and that can be dangerous. And these are a little bit bigger than the blueberries. So I'm not going to use as many. Okay. Now. Oh, a clean spoon. And you just want to kind of mix enough in there make you a little pie filling. Wait till you see what we're going to do with the leftover pie filling. Ha ha. So good, so good. Okay. 
Okay, now. in the middle it don't matter there's egg in it anyway you don't put your little filling in it maybe another one yep yeah, there we go and you want to kind of squish it all together see what i mean it squishes out now so if it does that and gets on your workspace, you're going to want to clean it up before you put your next pie down. See there? Just like that. And I will finish that up and then show you how to fry them. Okay, so now all the pies are filled. But what do I do with these leftovers? I guess I can put them up. Or... We don't throw them away. We never throw them away. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this and I'm going to just mix it together. Every little bit of it, including the leftover egg. blueberries. There was more than that, but I ate them. <laughs> okay. And the egg, which is probably about half of an egg. So for those of y'all that are precise about your measurements, don't watch my stuff. <laughs> You're going to be mad about it. just going to mix all this together and we are going to throw it in the oven in a water bath for about an hour at 325 degrees. I'm going to heat it up to 345 and then turn it down to 325. And we're going to see how this turns out. What do you think? I bet that's going to be good. You know, most new recipes that are really great are stumbled upon by accident. Let's make this a delicious accident. Boy, that looks good. Smells good. So we got about three quarters of a can of strawberry pie filling. The rest of our cheese filling for our pies. And the rest of our egg. And the rest of our four little blueberries. And we're going to put it in this little baker's dish. don't like to talk politics but our economy is so bad right now because of stuff that's going on in Washington and around the world that we can't afford to waste. I don't have money to waste. In fact most of the time I don't have money to eat. I know couldn't tell it by looking at me, but we are pretty hungry around here. Okay. Is that 
some extreme non-waste in her way. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, you never know, we might like that better than the fried pies, huh? And that is what that looks like before it's baked. So when the water heats up and I can water bath it, I'll be right back. Okay, and this is what it looks like after I found some more uh, cherry gel <laughs> in the can. I think the water is hot enough to go ahead and water bath it. Gonna put enough water in it to give it a good inch all the way around it, I think. And we're gonna stick it in the oven at 345 degrees. And then we're gonna turn it down to 325 and we're gonna let it sit in there about an hour. Oh, just like that. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. 325. Okay. And now we will start heating up our oil. And we're going to heat it on medium. And when the, when the oil is hot, I'll be right back. Okay, I think the oil's hot enough. I had to do a test run because it just didn't seem like the oil was getting hot. But, uh, <laughs> stove's fine. It's just a really heavy fry pan. I've got about a half an inch of vegetable oil in here. And it seems to be just hot enough. So, let's go ahead and try another one. There it goes. Okay. Yeah, let's turn it down just a bit. Oh. And one over here. And one over here. And maybe they won't bust open and cause a mess. Hope not anyway. These should fry up pretty quickly. Oh yeah. You don't want to put too many in at one time because you want to be able to handle them. Because once the stuff starts getting away from you and uh, they start busting open into the oil, you're going to have a problem. You see how quickly they're getting done? So that looks about right. We're going to take that out. I should be putting them on a wire rack, but with the camera where it's at, I don't have enough room in my kitchen to do all this. So I'm just going to put them in this bowl here, and then I'll transfer them to a wire rack to drain and cool in just a second. Oh, that <laughs> was cute. Okay, I think you grasp the concept of what's going on here. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off, or pause it, and drain these, and I'll be back to show you the rest. Look how pretty those turned out. Light and flaky. Now you can uh, dust them with powdered sugar or you can do what I'm doing here. I'm just going to take some powdered sugar and some lemon juice and I'm going to make me a glaze and I'm going to put it in a Ziploc bag and I'm going to glaze my little fried pies. And you know, if you've ever made empanadas, it's a lot like doing that. So. 
If you're an empanada maker, you can definitely be a, fry pie, a fried pie maker. So, let's get this mixed up. And I think my son smelt them done because he just snuck up behind me. What is it, Robert? Oh, he brought me a Kit Kat. <laughs> He's trying to make a deal is what it is. He says, if I brought you Kit Kat, can I have the fried pies? <laughs> Thank you, son. Okay, and this is really easy. Watch this bag. Robbie, come hold this. What? Hold that right in front of the camera there. See the camera right there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're drifting. Come this way. Just gonna sniff a little hole right about there. Yeah, I hear you. I think our dessert, our accidental dessert, is ready. And we're just gonna drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. Boy, that's going to be good. Oh, y'all, I'm so hot. It's like 100 degrees here today. I know it's every bit of 98. The drizzle drizzle done. Oh, that's good. Okay. And now, give me a second and I'll let you see Robbie test one. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. That's the cherry and that's the blueberry. You got a cherry. So, okay. You can taste it. Good. Really? Yeah. Really? It's like pretty good, or is it like this is like the bomb? <laughs> okay, you heard it straight from Mr. Fickle. They're pretty dang good. <laughs> so, um, we still have to look at the other dessert, but uh, yeah. They're pretty dang good, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now this is the blueberries. Dun, 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 dun. That no flip? Hmm? No, no back flip? No. Like no. The, they are the ones better than the cherry ones. No. Oh, oh my God. They're to die for. <laughs> It's the best dessert I've ever put in my face. <laughs> I mean, they're definitely better than them JJ Bakeries. <laughs> Are they? Yeah. And that's like a name brand thing I do. Ha 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 ha. And the chef did it again. <laughs> Super good. You heard it yourself. These are pretty good. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and take it out. Let's see if it'll sit. Thank you for the help. Be careful because it's a water bath. There's water in there. It's called a water bath. Be very careful. Got it? Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. I can't wait to taste it.
creativity. So I've already wrapped these. <laughs> We've only ate uh, six of them. <laughs> so, um, it's been in there for about an hour. And I am going to let it sit. I'll turn off the oven. Take it out of the water bath. And we'll finish up when it's ready to finish up. <laughs> I guess. That is beautiful. What do y'all think? What do they say? Put it in the comments. Tell me what you think. <laughs> what are you waiting on? Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. It's finally cooled off. Ooh, it looks so good. I dropped blueberries on my shirt earlier. <laughs> and I didn't want to change it because I don't want you guys to say, Oh, well, um, she finished it. She finished her video like uh, four days later. You know, <laughs> the internet can be cruel. Trust me, I know. Ooh, look at that. It's fluffy. Mmm. That's good. This is most definitely a delicious little accident. Mmm. That's really good. Yep. Video is over. I'm gonna eat this whole darn thing. <laughs> Y'all have a good Fourth of July. A wonderful Fourth of July weekend. Be safe. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink. <laughs> Jesus loves you, and so do I. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, like, subscribe, share, comment. Love you. Bye.